Um. Seriously, right? Can you give me a break? It's finally stopped raining, it's when I can actually make a video. Oh, hey, internet, I'm going on an adventure. So, it is in fact the biggest adventure of my life. Next week, I'm getting on a plane and I'm crossing the continent and the ocean, thousands of kilometers, to land a Heathrow and to wander around Europe for a few weeks. It'll be my first long term solo trip and I can't wait. <laughs> I keep thinking that I should be freaking out, but somehow I'm not. Uh, somehow apparently my side has decided that yeah this sounds like fun and it's taking a holiday too I guess and I hope it is at least so I've been busy planning that's a lot to plan <laughs> uh, and we, it'll be four to five days long so I have to plan where to stay and get around buy tickets things to do <laughs> it's a, a, a lot involved I'm going to be staying in a hostel for the most part. Uh, I've sent a few requests in couchsurfing and um, I'm doing more packers as well. Uh, originally I was going to stay in a, like a, with more packers in a hostel but that kind of fell through. Uh, I've actually booked a hostel that is very near the British Library because I've always found libraries very soothing. So I feel where I can go there if it, it all gets too much because I figure I'm not going to get a lot of calm in the backpacker hotel. Uh, I don't even have a private room, there's no private bathroom, I don't think I'll get any uh, private time, any solitude. But a, a library is a good uh, place for that. Maybe last year I don't remember. I remember I was visiting a friend in Santiago, so I, I set up to do something. Uh, I was walking, I don't know why, but I walked. I was looking for a place. I couldn't. I couldn't really find it. I got a bit turned around, and then I, I looked up, and there was a library, the mini small library. It was like a godsend, you know. Yeah. Then I'm, I'm traveling down to to Cardiff and to Penzance and to Oxford, and then I'm moving to a nicer hostel. <laughs> then I'm meeting up with my mom and. We're doing some touristy thing, going to the Harry Potter studio tour because, of course, I'm going to the Harry Potter studio tour. And I really wish I got in there in time to, to see the Doctor Who experience. I mean, there's still a lot of uh, geeky shit to see, but I kind of I miss that and it sucks. Of course, I, I'm planning to record the whole trip. Uh, partly because I think it'll keep me sane, you know, and partly because. It, well, that's what I do. I, I, I take photos, I make videos, and, and we can get into the whole thing and to why I love camera so much. But let's not. My first, you know, trip far, far, far away from home and on my own. So, yeah, I expect a big kind of, you know, baptism by fire. Because I was planning on doing war packers, but I wanted to do like a little small trip and go sort of increasing the range. But now I just, my dad had this idea. He said, you want to go to Europe? You want to go to London? And I was like, yeah, I do. I'm going to London first. <coughs> then Edinburgh. Then the Paris. Going to Amsterdam. And I'm hoping to maybe stay with like a workaway thing. That'll be fun. And after that, I'm going to Vienna to meet a friend. Yeah, then I'm going to Portugal. To Lisbon, where I'm going to do the same uh, surf hostel. Maybe I'll learn to surf. And from there, I'm finally in Madrid. I'm gonna see if I can maybe travel somewhere else, like Barcelona or uh, Bilbao, because it'd be nice to go to Basque country, place my ancestors come from and all that. And that's the reason why that wanted me to go to Spain in the first place, you know. Uh, I guess I'm, I'm pivoting to travel blogging now. That's gonna be a thing. So, you know, subscribe if you wanna keep up with what the hell happens because I don't know. Yeah. See you soon. Yes, Leia? Oh, it's this, it, it hadn't been that bad in years. I like it when I'm so close to the camera.